Well, hello. Today I'd like to welcome you to my first impressions of an Argentine pen. This is an Escritor Juniors. And I don't know a whole lot about it, but that's okay, it's a first impression. And this actually follows off of my uh, vintage pen restorations, because you may remember my first video in my series on pen restoration was first do no harm. Why? Because if you can be minimally invasive, that's better. And this pen is a great example of that. This pen got a lot of cleaning, and that's it. So let's take a look at it. This pen came in this case. Now, it did originally come with two cartridges. I will talk about the cartridges just a bit later in the video. Uh, but you can see a Escritor Juniors. So we'll open the pen up. Nice case. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's original. It came with two cartridges, which were well dried up. And I originally filmed this, this is the second time I've filmed my first impression of this video, but, or of this pen, but don't worry, <laughs> I haven't written with it yet. Uh, because what I tried to do is I decided to do a video where I talk about rehydrating old cartridges. So I rehydrated this one. Trouble was, let's see if I can turn it this way, that works better. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Uh, the trouble was uh, the ink just kind of floated around in it like pond scum and didn't really dissolve. So I had a viewer suggest to me, well, why don't you put it in your ultrasonic cleaner? So the ultrasonic cleaner took a lot of the paint off. Uh, it did also mix the ink up well, but I just had a weird feeling. And so I decided to wait and just set this cartridge aside and see what happened. Well, what happened, if you can tell, I, I'm having trouble telling on the video camera. What happened is all the ink kind of settled to the bottom. So not useful. I'll show you the uh, cartridge with the intact writing. Escritor con tinta estilográfica azul negro fijo. And then some other stuff. So that cartridge looked very familiar. It had an end like this. So this is a Schaefer converter. So those are Schaefer style con cartridges. Now, uh, as it turns out, I put the wrong pen in. <laughs> God. Okay, as it turns out, this is the pen that should be in there. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. That other pen is a project is a work that's still in progress. So I just gotta redo my photograph here. So I had hoped that uh, by writing on the barrel with a white crayon it could make that I could make this out better, but it really doesn't. So you have escritor and then a word I couldn't make out, which probably is the Spanish equivalent of made in and then Argentina. So just a very, very poorly stamped. Uh, open it up. Kind of a Parker 45-esque nib, although, you know, it's not. Looks kind of like the feed's misaligned with it, which we'll find out if that's a problem. First, do no harm. Unscrew it, and yeah, that's where the cartridge sits and so my first thought was oh goody I can use my Schaefer converter that I never use for anything fits on perfectly a little tight but that's okay uh, sucks water very well went to cap it <laughs> whoopsie <laughs> so that's clearly not going to happen uh, I did have a viewer send me some cartridges where are they they're right here uh, they, as it turns out, are dried up, so I'm going to experiment with rehydrating them, but not just yet. And uh, I think it's definitely an older package, 98 cents. So, luckily, I reviewed a few years ago a Schaefer Tyrannus, and I used the converter in it and not the uh, cartridges, and they are still floating around. The pen is long gone, I've given it away. Uh, to a student, actually, but I still had the cartridges. So, 
Uh oh. First, do no harm, and what does he do? Walks off of that mounty piece. Yeah, that just happened! So, I had my section players out for another video. So, yeah, that got stuck in there. Never had that happen before either, so I will put it back on. Now, let's try to put the cartridge in. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. All right, and that went very smoothly. Uh, it's a very close fit. But it does fit. And while we're letting the ink uh, rehydrate there, I'll just, uh, for comparison's sake, this is my other Schaefer cartridge. This is my vintage Escritor cartridge. So left, Schaefer, Escritor to the right. So the Escritor seems to have a slightly narrower opening. It seems to be just a tiny bit more slender. Uh, if I was at school, I could grab the calipers and measure it. It seems to be the same length, and then this end is, you know, whatever that means to you. Uh, while we wait for that to hydrate, don't worry, the magic of editing will take care of it if it's too long of a wait. But I just wanted to point out this guarantee. Garantia. It's inside the package. I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'll have a photograph of this in the um, video. I, I always put a link in the video description to the high resolution photographs, which admittedly are taken on a cell phone because I not going to put that much time into it, but anyway, La Garantia de la Lapicera Escritor Juniors es por el término de tres años a partir del día de su compra. Se garantiza el reemplazo sin cargo alguno de cualquier componente de la, la, la Lapicera por defecto de fabricación. Which, uh, I don't know all of the words, but three years, uh, you know, components are, uh, and against de defects, so uh, I'll try and do a translation. I have an app that will trans, or Google, isn't it, where I can just slap this in and it'll translate it, so uh, I'll, I'll put a translation in that link also. Okay, I cheated a little. I had a Viewers send me some Schaefer blue, so I dipped it. I'm hoping that just gets the capillary action going. So the ink is Schaefer Script Blue. Not a flex nib. I believe my interpretation of this pen is that it's a student pen. And with a name like Juniors, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, wetness and flow. I think that dipping did get it going. I need to do a video one of these days, maybe as part of my restoration series about how the nib and feed work together, but I don't have any objection to that there, do you? Uh, smear test, uh, this is not seeming like a super wet pen, but as a student pen, I probably wouldn't want it to be. Yeah, not very wet. Uh, and reverse writing. little scratchy and probably an extra fine there and finally the world famous Pierre Gustafson test I'll tell you the writing experience is not inspiring it's not 
a glorious flex nib. It's not wet or whatever it is that people like nowadays. This is a pen to take notes with in school. And it seems to do that very well. One other test I always like to do, my very Western shirt. <laughs> oh my God, that's tight. Okay, there we go. So sits in there perfectly. A uh, little tough getting it in there, but uh, maybe you're scared your little Argentine kid is gonna lose his pen. So we make it extra tight or, yeah, who knows. But <laughs> anyway, Hope that was interesting, hope was useful, and yeah, we've got Argentina on the map on this channel now, with, uh, I think I'm up to two Argentine pens now. And that first do no harm came into focus here, because you'll remember earlier in the video I did mention that the feed and the nib don't seem to be very well aligned. So my first instinct is, okay, I gotta fix that. But let's see how it writes first. If it writes well, why would you fix it? Leave it alone! <laughs> And that's what I've done, and I'm happy. So, uh, hope that was interesting, hope was useful, and uh, you know, don't be afraid of uh, some of these lesser known brands. Get out there, try Escritor, or uh, you know, whatever's out there. So I'm glad to have South America on my map of countries where I've got pens from, or <laughs> not countries, continents. Uh, I think the only continent I'm missing at the moment, no, two continents, I'm missing Africa, and I'm missing Antarctica. So if you know of any Antarctic pen makers or uh, companies in Africa, let me know. So I want to thank you for watching and just remember that this is a first impression and first impressions change. So uh, I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.